portion of today's video is sponsored by Plain Products. Hey everyone, welcome back. So as a lot of you know, I have been trying to get settled in our house for the last couple of months, unpacking, organizing, etc. One thing though that I've been severely putting off is unpacking and organizing our bathroom. The reason for this is that it's a bit of a challenging space to figure out storage wise and I'll go into more of that once I'm in the bathroom, but just been putting it off and it's really been affecting me because it's been preventing me from feeling settled. I mean, we use our bathrooms so much and you know, you have your morning routine, you have your nightly routine and just not having things where you know they are and having them easily accessible has been weighing on me and it's just time to get it unpacked finally. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I'm taking you guys along, so let's get started. We are in my bathroom. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff on the counters behind me and you'll see my stuff is just kind of everywhere. When I showed you guys the kitchen, I showed you the drawers that we had in the kitchen that are these sort of outdated but super cool, I think, salmon pink drawers. Whoever did this particular remodel in this house of the kitchen and the bathrooms really liked these drawers and cabinetry so much so that they used them in both bathrooms as well as the kitchen. Um, and I have to say I'm not as big a fan of it in the bathrooms. I mean, it gets, it gets a little repetitive. Not only that, but they're just not very functional for a bathroom. I am all about bathroom storage functionality and in our apartment I actually was really happy with the functionality of our bathroom but in here it's a lot more tricky for that reason I think remodeling the bathroom would be a priority but in the short term before we're actually going to be able to do that I'm going to have to come up with some storage solutions so we'll see how far I get today but let me show you guys what I mean double vanity which is nice but we have this space in the middle people are so upset when they see this, They're like, what is that? What is that supposed to be? I don't understand it. Why is that there? And nobody really knows. It's just this awkward gap in between. Not only can you not really use it for anything, but also look at all the counter space that it takes away that you could potentially put something here. So if you guys have any idea what this was supposed to be, please let me know. This is what I mean with functionality. So basically here, there's nothing because that's where the sink is. And then on the bottom, we have this very large drawer, which I put my, this is my wooden piece uh, from Etsy that I showed in the video where we sort of leveled up our apartment. Um, but as you can see, the drawer down here is kind of like gross and dirty. I cleaned it, but it's just sort of stained, I think, from years of use, but, Look how awkward it is, like, I'm up here doing my thing at the sink and then I have to, like, bend over, hunch over to get my stuff. I have just always thought medicine cabinets were so amazing and I've had them a few places I've lived. I think this bathroom in general would really benefit from a medicine cabinet. That might be something that I just do in the meantime before we have the funds to do a full remodel. Having your stuff, like it's just, it's such a good storage solution. Kudos to whoever invented the medicine cabinet. And then I've got this shelf over here, which obviously I have some stuff on I'm gonna be clearing off. When you have cats though, open shelving is just kind of an invitation for boop, boop, boop. This is what I've been using for now. Um, this is what I like used to move and bring all my stuff over in. I've already cleared out the top drawer and put uh, some filming equipment in there, but these two bottom drawers still need to be unpacked and put away. And then I also have more stuff here. And so, and then we also have this, this little side door thing, which are like, oh, this is kind of nice, but like, is it? Because you have all your, and you have to like move things around and you have to like reach back and get things get knocked over. It's actually really a terrible storage solution for a bathroom and um, it's not working out great. So yeah, the, the bathroom has a lot of potential and you know, it still needs to be painted and everything. Eventually we wanna get some uh, Roman shades, is I think what they're called. There's just a lot of little upgrades that we could do in here prior to a remodel. Would love to get new lighting fixtures, etc. Also there's wooden floors in here. Interesting choice. Right now, 
just trying to get everything unpacked. In addition to potentially getting a medicine cabinet, I've also seen just like a couple rows of shelves here that have, uh, they're kind of enclosed or they have a little ridge so things can fit in them and not fall out or be knocked out. And I think that would be great. Uh, a good solution for in here because I can already tell as I'm unpacking everything into the drawer, the bend and snap. I don't think it's gonna work out so well. On the note of low waste bathroom stuff, uh, someone got this for me a few years ago, a coworker, as a gift, and it was such a thoughtful gift, it's like a reusable ear Q-tip, and I use it sometimes, and I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I still use actual Q-tips because it's silicone, and it has these little nubs on it, and it's really kind of rough in your ear, and it doesn't really work that well for getting moisture out of your ear because it's not absorbent. Um, and the other day I was using it and the little tip came off. This came off inside my ear. And I was like, oh my God, this is either gonna just be a total disaster or it's gonna be fine. And thankfully I was able to reach in and pull it out, but that was really scary. And so I don't know about this thing anymore. Let me know if you've tried, you know, like a different brand of these where the tips don't come off as easily or if you have another solution for low waste Q-tips. Cause I know people say you're not supposed to put Q-tips in your ear, but like, come on, doesn't everybody do that? Also, I am someone, not to be TMI, but I am someone who has had to go to urgent care because I had a massive earwax buildup because I used to not clean my ears out with Q-tips and I thought I was going deaf and it was really scary. And then it was really satisfying when the earwax came out, but Point being that I think I'm someone who needs to clean their ears out. Okay, back to unpacking. was able to set up pretty quickly was our shower. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Plain Products. Some of you may remember that I reviewed Plain Products in a video back in June, so go watch that if you'd like sort of a full review and overview of what I thought about all the products I tried. That video was not sponsored, but I really liked their products. I've been using them ever since, and so when they reached out to me about this video, it was a no-brainer. If you're not familiar with Plain, it is a women-owned refillable hair and body care company. All their products are vegan and single-use plastic-free, two things that are obviously very important to me. Plain recently unveiled new packaging, which is a really big deal for a company whose mission is really centered around the way things are packaged. The main purpose of this new look is to increase the lifespan of the bottles, resulting in even more reusability. Because the bottles are refillable, they really need to stand the test of time, which means they need to be able to be washed and reused many times. With their original packaging, they were having an issue where the paint would start to change chip off the bottles after being reused about three times. Thus, they were limited in how many times they could reuse each bottle. Plain believes in progress, not perfection, which I think is a really great mission to have as a company and as a human being. So they came up with a solution and the new packaging is actually happening in two ways. One of the ways is that they're placing new labels on bottles that are already in the system. So the bottles that you know maybe you have right now that you'll be sending back, those bottles will be getting new labels and these bottles have been tested out in their industrial washer and they lasted eight times in the industrial washer, so that's a lot better already. And Plain is partnering with the recycling company to make sure that these labels get recycled when the bottles are at the end of their lifespan. The second way they're doing the new packaging is that they're actually having new bottles made with labels printed directly onto them. So this is very similar to how soda cans are printed and they're testing this out with the shampoo and conditioner in the rosemary mint vanilla scent and the lavender lemon scent. So while there are a fair share of issues with our bathroom, one thing I really loved is that our shower has a niche. Talk about little organizational details that just make sense. 
I love a shower niche almost as much as I love a medicine cabinet. Before we moved in, I was nervous and curious to see if my plain bottles would fit in the niche. I was like, please fit, please fit. That would be so perfect. And I'm happy to report that they fit perfectly in the niche and especially because they're pump bottles it just it couldn't be easier and i also have a confession to make while i am displaying my new bottles for the sake of this video and to get b-roll footage i'm actually still using my original plain bottles that i received back in may so i have been using the shampoo the conditioner the body wash since May, I'm pretty shocked with how long they've lasted. I was in Maine for a month, month and a half total over the summer, and I didn't bring my plain bottles with me. But other than that, I've been using them consistently. I do only wash my hair about once a week. So if that helps you sort of figure out how long the product lasts and, you know, try to help you figure out if it's worth it for you, hopefully that helps. In addition to the products that I reviewed in the last video, because I am still using and loving all of those, I wanted to shout out two new products that I've tried recently. One is the face moisturizer. So I had tried the beauty oil in the last video, which you can use for hair, body, or face. I mostly use that for my face, although I do use it on my hair pretty often as well to help with frizz. And I really like it. It's very light, but it feels very moisturizing. I mentioned this in my last video, but I am always nervous to try new products on my face because my skin is very sensitive very breakout prone, and this has just been working like a dream. And the second new product that I've tried, have a little bit of an unhealthy attachment to this one, but I'd actually say it's a healthy attachment. This is their deep conditioner, so this is pretty new for them. I wanna say it's only a couple months old. As someone who has hair that's prone to getting very tangly and also getting very dry, I really appreciate having a deep conditioner in the lineup. The absolute best thing about this product is that it comes in my favorite scent of all time, green tea. I spent a disproportionate amount of time in the last video talking about scents, but that's because scents are very important to me. And I have loved green tea scent for a long time. It's really hard to find it out there in the wild, especially, I don't think I've ever found it for a, you know, vegan, non-toxic beauty product. I've only ever seen it like a couple times and those were for like, artificially fragrance products. It's sort of this perfect mix between like a grassiness, but also a floral, a little bit of citrus. It's such a beautiful scent. I need to smell it right now just to get a hit. Oh my God, it's so amazing. This is my official plea to the Plain Products team. Please come out in green tea scent in every single product because I will just done. I will just be getting the green tea scent across the board. My shower will just be a green tea steam room and I will be the happiest person ever. So highly recommend trying that one. Just like last time, you can use my code FORKABLE for 20% off your first Plain Products order. Thanks to Plain for sponsoring this part of the video. And now let's get back to the bathroom. One thing you realize when you're doing this is how much stuff you have. As a woman, you kind of get beauty products just like foisted upon you, and I'm not saying that, you know, I was not an active participant in it with, because I was, but, you know, back in the day when I used to shop at Sephora, there was always some, you know, free sample or free thing, and I'd be like, yeah, sure. The leaf blower wanted to join into the conversation. I also used to do this monthly beauty subscription service from a vegan online beauty store, and I thought it was fun and exciting because I'm like, oh, I get this little box of goodies every month, but I realize these aren't things that I chose and that I needed. And therefore now I'm just getting stuff that, you know, types of products that I just don't really use. And so I end up with an excess of them. I kind of feel like I'm at the point where once I am rid of these things, I'm not gonna be accumulating more. I'm a lot more intentional in what I bring into my home and what I bring into my bathroom at this point, but I do find that I'm just hanging on to stuff from a long time ago. For example, tan towels. Do you guys remember these? I have had these for probably 12 years, maybe more actually. Are people still using self tanner? I don't know, I'm not. And I'm just hanging on to them. I'm just like, I'm not. If you would like these tan towels, 
maybe you can send me a message on Instagram and I will send them to you gladly. But stuff like that. <laughs> and I'm like, Mariel, why are you holding on to the tan towels from 2010? I don't know. And you know, this whole box is basically just like a wasteland of Sephora samples and, you know, beauty box samples that never amounted to anything. One problem is I just, I, I forget I have a lot of this stuff because it gets jammed into a bottom drawer. So maybe what I should do is pick like five products a week to put out on my counter and just make an attempt to use them, you know, because some of it is like a, a cuticle strengthener, things that I could use, things that seem great, or a face mask that I just always forget that I have. So maybe I'll try that. Things are looking a lot better over here. I still have, honestly, I still have a lot of stuff to go through, but I realized that I had so many things that either were expired in the case of this mask or just products that were empty and just needed to be cleaned out and recycled. So that's what this was. A lot of times that's just the stuff taking up space in our drawers is stuff that I'm, you know, putting off rinsing and recycling. I personally only use bamboo toothbrushes, but sometimes um, plastic ones will find their way into the house, but this is an old one and I never realized until somewhat recently just how amazing toothbrushes are for cleaning. So I'm gonna be putting this in our bathroom cleaning caddy. We have uh, like a, you know, a few toothbrushes around the house that we use for cleaning and honestly, best underrated adult cleaning tool, so this will not be going to waste, will not be going into the landfill. And then here's what I've done to try to deal with the samples situation. I've lined myself up a bunch of products so that I can remember to use them. This is a foot soak, which I'm always like, a foot soak that sounds so nice that I never do it, so I am going to finally do this. Uh, this is a an exfoliator. This is uh, just a little like refresher face towel, which I'm always like, that sounds so great, but I never end up using them. I feel like if I were someone that went to the gym or something, I would like use it after the gym, but I will find some time to use that. This is a pumpkin enzyme face mask, which I have used before and I really liked it. And tis the season, if you know what I mean. This is a face oil and then this is a cleanser. So I feel like I have a good little variety of things here to remind myself to use. And then like I said, for over here, possibly get some shelves. I also wanna get a towel ring or something for up here because I really don't love this sort of towel bar jammed onto the side. Also, I feel like I could get maybe one of those Ikea like rolling bathroom carts that has different shelves. That might be a really good uh, storage solution for right here. Also that I can just grab products without having to bend and snap, like I said. The door situation, you know, some stuff like my contacts, I've shoved those in the back because I don't need them often. Same with my like menstrual cup, don't need that often. But yeah, I could still put a few more things in here, uh, stuff that I grab often, particularly on the top shelf. So yeah, just making the best of this kind of unconventional bathroom setup for now. Let me know if you have any ideas of things I could do to improve it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My bathroom is still not completely finished, but it's in a lot better shape than it was in, and I feel like I can kind of go about my daily routines and business without having to dig through bags or wonder where things are, so that's a big relief. Thanks for watching. Thanks again to Plain. I will put my discount code in the description so you don't miss it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more of my videos, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.